Howdy folks, so today we are going to make a pine cone. Step one, make the little, I don't even know what to call that, not a leaf, but uh, it's something. Uh, we're going to add some density here. And I'm going to make the initial bend manually. Not sure how dense I want to go. This is going to be like kind of a mid density one where it's like you could subdivide or you could leave it for a game asset. And it kind of goes in a little bit and it'll curve out. And there's kind of, yeah, there's probably one on either side, honestly. It's like a little more curved. Um, okay, so it's slightly dense, but it's okay. You could just minimize it if you wanted to, to go really light, but just for the sake of capturing the detail here. Um, and there's this little drippy, little drippy bitty. And the top is pretty sharp. Let's go a little <laughs> wrong direction. A little thicker. More like, yeah, that. Okay. Mesh. Uh, I'm just going to continue shaping this. The bottom is like a little thicker. And the sides are a lot more curved. And I would like to do shade smooth and normals. The direction I usually set to 80 is normally a pretty good value, just so it gets starts to get easier to evaluate the shape here. Um, I think to represent that little bitty, I will just pull this one down slightly. Um, so it's going to be sort of like a simplified version of that. Mm, and yeah, this is like relatively flat. It's a little hard to tell. If there's like a slight curvature to it, but it's again, it's like subtle enough that I don't know if I'd want to include that. Uh, but there is a little bit of bend to it, and that seems like fairly consistent. Like if you look at the ones here and the ones over here, they're like all pretty straight out just for like the end that has a little bit in it. So maybe I will just do that manually really quick. Uh, and I'm just going to do that by pulling this up a little bit. And I want to pull this forward because I want this end piece to be at origin, and I don't really need these inside faces at all. And I'm just going to zero this out so it's there. I kind of lost my sharpness a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, just finally just evaluate the shape a little more. If I was going to simplify this, I'd probably remove like half of what I'm doing. Um, so if I was doing this game but you still wanted to see all of them I'd probably remove these guys this and like this um, but I'm just gonna keep it smidgen higher just for fun okay so we got that shape going on next step create a empty and we're going to use this as the basis of the rotation so I'm just gonna make this smaller so it's easier to see and um, steer it just for fun just for fun. And we are going to add an array, but instead of relative, we're going to do object offset and we're going to select this empty and nothing will happen right away. But if we rotate in Z, we see the result. So I'm just going to do enough to fill it up. Um, so looking at the design of the pine cone, they are offset. And there's actually looking at the top here too, there's like more of a this shape happening to it where it's like a little pointier um, at the end there. So it's a crashing a little bit in the middle. I will probably make this smaller. Not a pine cone expert, just kind of basing this off what I'm seeing in the concept or the, <laughs> the concept, my image that I have. Okay, so how dense do I want to go? Um, oh yeah, another thing too is like you don't really see this all the way, like these pieces. There's more like a round chunk here and there's like more layers of them. So this is actually, this is more like this ring here. It's not, it's not the, it's not the smallest one. It's more like the middle one or like the bottom third one. So considering that, um, they're still pretty tight around. I probably want to do... Um, maybe that much, maybe one more, honestly, something like that. And 
okay, so now that we have this, I also want to add a simple deform. And I'm going to add this before the array. And I'm going to set it to bend. And, uh, hmm, interesting. First of all, okay, just for simplicity here, let me see if it's because of some shapes just don't work. Okay, no, it's definitely just the angle. So there's another video I have that explains what's happening here, um, how transforms affect your model. Um, if you're curious about why the modifier did that, go watch that video. So now that I have that set up, I'm going to re-enable this and <laughs> the rotation's all wonky, wonky so let's just zero that out. Um, right, hang on. So instead of this here, this also needs to rotate. We're just going to zero this out and we're going to zero this out and we're going to move these guys together and then we're going to rotate in Z. Okay, so there we go. Repaired it, but now the simple deform works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because I want this to bend a little bit upwards. And then I'm going to take this guy's duplicate it, rotate it. I want to keep this offset. I don't want to like lose it. So I'm going to do this and probably angle it a little more. Keep this offset. Um, I think now I can start reducing the count. So maybe there's 11 or 10, nine. No, maybe they'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll reduce by two and then I can reduce this one by one actually just to further increase the offset. This is also the very nice thing about doing this with modifiers is you have this ability to change it after the fact. Yeah, that's kind of working. Okay, so I need to start changing this angle now. So restrictions, because I want this to bend, but I don't really want the bottom to bend. Uh, yeah. We're starting, to, yeah, because I want to start getting into this shape where it's like starting to sprout upwards. So I might need to grab this now and drop it, right? Okay, so if this was a restriction of 0.93, let's make this a restriction of, there it is, uh, 0.97. Just so I'm starting to get that shape, starting to get it, and then, uh, I duplicated the wrong ones. Hang on. This guy. Yep. Duplicate this up. Reduce this count again by one. Rotate to compensate. Probably rotate the whole thing a little bit to offset it more. Increase, decrease the restriction. So now we're getting more of changing that shape a little bit, going less from this at the bottom to more like that at the top. And then we'll just kind of keep going and see how far how far it takes us. So duplicate these, raise it up, and we will drop it again. Increase the rotation, take the whole thing, offset a little bit, uh, reduce more, 0.75 maybe. Uh, I should probably rotate that a little more actually, it's starting to line up kind of a lot. These, these rings are also starting to pile up, but might need to hang on go backwards one there we go okay that's working grab this this and once again reduce shrink rotate so it's more interesting and 0.7 and probably higher because I did that boop and I can probably start to shrink it as well uh, I have to shrink both at the same time just to get more of that curvature a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, take this, duplicate again. Let's reduce this first, 0.65, maybe 0.6. Actually, I'm starting to hit, I'm starting to hit its limit actually. So instead of doing that, we'll actually just reduce that instead. Yeah, honestly, even in this one, should probably reduce a little bit. And then even by the top, it's like starting to get less and less. Wait, did I reduce it? I might have forgotten. Six. No, I haven't reduced it yet. Boop. Five. Six. 
fives. And then grab this one. Four. And even less. Three. Smaller. Less. Two. Rotate the whole thing. Less. And then last one up here. Can just straight up remove the array at this point basically its own thing okay cool so now I have that I'm gonna build the sub or the, the sub base um, the this base structure of it um, I've got more of a tree shaped pine cone if if it really mattered I would probably like if it if the design of the pine cone like was very particular you could always metal with each of these layers and get like a flow that works but I just kind of wanted to get something cute I wasn't super particular about exactly what it looks like I'm just you know something cute so to get that base shape in there, I'm just going to cube, subdivide level two, mesh to apply it, and then grab this top one, soft select, pull it way up. Mm, yep. Just so there's like something to plug into. And maybe a little thinner. Definitely more of like a spine base thing. And then I also need layers for the bottom to round that out. So let's duplicate this guy and take, okay, first of all, save. We got these two, duplicate. And we're going to add one now. And that'll probably be my final count. We'll see. Okay, but at this point, they need to start bending down the other way. At this point, it's starting to sort of cheat a little bit where you're not really seeing the bottom anymore. It's now just becoming, um, yeah, actually, you know what? I lied. I don't want to reduce. I don't want to increase it because I want to be able to place it. Whoop. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, damn it. <laughs> okay, so this one is for this layer. Don't need that. This one is for this layer. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, okay, so rotate here. You could definitely be a lot cleaner about like when you're duplicating stuff through so you're not getting... Uh, it's not as confusing to do, but that's, that's fine. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, something. Oh, man, that's disappointing. I hate it when I do that. Okay, so I accidentally <laughs> duplicated. Um, uh, man. Uh, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I know what I did. I hit them. Of course, I like I thought I deleted them. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so shade smooth this guy. Uh, let's make this a little longer, too, so we can kind of see it in the bottom, just to give it that little bit of grounding. Okay, sweet. So we got our pine cone set up. Uh, that's a pine cone. You could definitely noodle each of these. Um, a step to take it up, for example, is you could grab, uh, first of all, mm, if you wanted to step this up, I'm just debating how much I want to apply because I was going to do a little little texture on this after the fact. And the more I collapse now, the more annoying it'll be to apply later. But it's also not that big of a deal. Uh, okay, anyway. So if you wanted, you could simple deform this. And then what I would recommend doing is setting your thing to or origin. And then just sort of like grabbing some of these and just sort of like making a, some of these line up a little less because there's a few that are starting to pattern a little bit and you can always just mess with that a tiny bit so it depends how much you want to noodle your pine cone you can always add things anyway it doesn't doesn't super matter so we've got these these guys here um i'm going to put a material on this i'm just debating if i feel like 
it's not the end of the world, I guess. It's a little, okay. I'm just sort of muttering to myself, thinking, and you can't hear what I'm thinking. That's, whoa. <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> that actually almost, that's almost perfect. The color here is, is backwards. Uh, it's dark on the ends, but wow, damn, that's sick. Okay, cool. That's really funny. Um, I didn't actually, I didn't intend for that to happen. That's really neat. Uh, okay, so given that information, actually, uh, I kind of like this hard line of, like, where these are sitting. Okay, let's just, all right, let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. Okay, so this is not, not the intended result. Um, okay, so project from view. And we are just going to place this somewhat in the middle. So we have that, like, top-down overall gradient, first of all. And I could do the same thing for this. This is also... No, hang on. Like materials. There we go. Okay, so I could do the same thing here. And just make it darker than the center, or what I have, you know. And then from this point, I just want to grab a face. And then uh, I could actually grab all of these. Project from, mm, project from view. I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit as I'm... Well, okay. Take... Going back and forth. I haven't practiced this. Um, this is just me making stuff up on the spot. So, yep. I'm just debating how much I, how much detail I'd want to put into this and how much it matters. And, um, yeah. I'm just sort of deciding. But this is generally an approach to most things. Actually, I could just, for most of these, they're probably fine just to, they seem to be lining up in a nice spot, actually. Oops. They seem to be, like, averaging out from where they were initially sitting, so that actually works pretty nicely. So I am just hitting U and project from U, project from view L, and then U to unwrap. Yeah, okay, cool. And just trying to catch all the ones that, um, yeah, need a little more gradient happening because it's a little samey, and it would just be cuter if it wasn't. <laughs> uh, just send me laughing at myself here. This, this is some super solid, solid good commentary on, on pine cone making. Hopefully it's mildly, <laughs> at least mildly entertaining, because um, this is a lot of clicking. Well, project from view. Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. My cat leaped onto my desk. She's walking around my keyboard. It's mildly distracting. No, bug, don't block the keyboard. I can't, <laughs> I can't see the keys. Making it more difficult to see the keys. And this freaking get out of my way, god damn it. <laughs> get out of my way. Uh, okay, at least it's more obvious which ones I haven't done. There's probably a better way to do this. Um like what would have been wise is to set up the first one and then before I even started duplicating, that would have been wise, but Oh well. Okay, almost, almost there. <laughs> we're almost, we're almost done with the, with the clicking. Bug is adding a bit of challenge. Her face is half blocking my keyboard. Nope, not that. Mm. Pressing L and U a lot. Pressing them over and over again. Yeah, yeah, pressing U and L a lot. Pressing them over and over again. I'm noticing that my shapes are not being as consistent. Um, 
in my UV editor. I'm hoping once I've done these all and I zoom out and it looks pretty good. We'll see. End result in 30 seconds. No, oh, man. And then I ruined it by moving. You know what? Hang on. Uh, I don't know why these ones at the bottom are so light, but it's not its not that big of a deal. I can fix it. They seem to all be in the same chunk. Okay, can you... Oh, I'm struggling to hit you. <laughs> these Ks are too difficult. Too far away, L and U. Come on. Oops. No, I didn't want to undo that. Mm-mm-mm. I feel like I did something to the material of my other piece, though, by accident. Okay, finally. Now that we have the context of the whole, I'm just selecting these ones here and just lowering them a bit and I'm just making these ones a little bigger because all these other ones are bigger and they're getting more gradient and these ones are looking a little flat I ended up just making them all in the same space anyway classic <laughs> Oh, I missed that one. And this one. Okay. And this one. And this one. And this one. This one. That one's already done. This one. This one. Struggling to click buttons. Yeah, yeah, clicking buttons wrong. This bug is still blocking my keyboard with her face. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's more that's more layering. More textured layering. It's a little lighter near the top. Two, which is good. Okay, cool. Yeah, a little bit of variation. They're not all the same. It's got that like hand touched feel to it where it's like even though the geometry is like exactly copied, that really helps add um, you know, some realism, I guess, to it. Question mark. Okay, cool. And another thing I really liked about that first iteration. Um, honestly, I, I could have even like gone back to Photoshop and just like changed the colors so that it would have su suited the the UVs, but that's fine. Just taking the slightly more manual hand touchy approach. Another smart thing would be to make um, vertex groups before all this duplicating happened, because then I could have selected <laughs> the vertex group and I wouldn't have to do this manually. Um, smart to do that stuff before you collapse it down. I kind of knew, I, I mean, I did know this, this was going to be a thing. Um, I just felt lazy. So as a result, I'm doing it the less lazy way, which is kind of ironic, but that's okay. Oh my God, there's so many of these things. Holy crap. <laughs> regret, 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 yeah, regret. I should have selected them beforehand. And I could do it again, but I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I already went through the work of doing some things. Uh, 
we'll get there eventually. It's it's happening. We are like there is thirty percent left. It's it's rolling. It's rolling. Uh yep. Almost there. Definitely definitely almost there. So many whoops. So many faces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now just the top ones. Like ten percent left here. We're almost it's like basically basically done. Basically done. Okay, uh, let's check here just to be sure. Yep, that looks like all of them. Ding, ding, ding. Pine co- fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Oh no, okay, it was this one. It just, it didn't go as high as the other ones. I just wanted it to. Okay, woo! Pine cone! There we go. That's how you make, that's how you make pine cones. Uh, I'm just gonna flatten this a little bit. Because I feel like the whole thing should be darker. Yep. More like that. Yeah. Boom. And then you just take these two guys. You join them together. You zero it out. And got a pine cone. That's that's how you do it. That's how you make pine cones. That's how I would do it. Um, if you like what I did, like and subscribe. And watch more videos. And write things in the comments. And I hope you guys had fun. And goodbye. Oh no, what happened to my recording? Oh, it's still there. I'm not going to edit this out. Now goodbye for realsies. <laughs>